Do you often hear disembodied voices in your ears whenever you need help or guidance? Do you sometimes feel lightness at sudden, unprecedented times whenever you see yourself in a dark place? If you think these things are just coincidences or figments of your imagination, then you're wrong. The voices you're hearing and the hidden presence that you feel during your times of need are actually your angels doing their jobs to help you at all times. If you have yet to get to know your guardian angels and learn how to communicate with them to help you with your problems, then you're in luck. In this video, find out how to get to know your guardian angels and communicate with them at all times of need. And stick around because by the end of this video, you'll receive a special gift that we're offering to help you to grow closer to your angels. Communication is a two-way street, and as many may be able to relate, you cannot foster good communication with other people without building a relationship with them. So if you want to speak well with your angels about your issues at all times, you must have a profound understanding of who your guardian angel is to do so. Getting a good amount of knowledge about your guardian angel will also make it easier for you to develop a strong bond with this higher being in heaven. He himself assigned every one of us our own celestial companions from heaven to help us on our path towards enlightenment. Our guardian angel's mission in this world is to guide us on our way to heaven and make us aware of the perils that we need to avoid to get there. Because of that, our angels often use different methods to convey their messages to us and intervene during times when they're needed. What exactly are their responsibilities? Guardian Angel's Responsibilities The Guardian Angel Prayer is one of the earliest prayers we learn to memorize as children. It's brief, pleasant, and simple to remember. It also contains a brief synopsis of all the help your Guardian Angel can provide. In the final verse, we ask of our Angel's presence throughout the day to illuminate and guard, to reign and guide. What does this mean exactly? Enlightenment Angels, unlike humans, have wisdom embedded in them. This implies that they have already learned all there is to learn about anything. This does not imply that they foresee the future. Rather, they possess all a spiritual and material knowledge. Angels were created in a different way than humans. Humans learn knowledge through participation. Before we can comprehend the truth, we must first experience it in some way. Angels, however, were developed with this knowledge beforehand. Our guardian angel's role includes assisting us in enlightening our brains. They are granted the power to speak with us from the moment they are born. They don't speak, since they are spiritual beings. They do, however, impact us, without needing to disrupt our own free will. If you're having trouble with something intellectual or mental, call on your guardian angel to guide you. Request a light bulb from your guardian angel if you're studying and having trouble understanding the content. Offer a silent prayer and beg for help if you're in the midst of an exam and can't seem to recall the appropriate answer. Maybe you're a professional who can't figure out some coding, a problem you can't solve, or a medical problem that stumps you. Perhaps you're coping with a family conflict that won't go away, or perhaps you're having trouble believing in something that faith says. In all these situations, as well as other circumstances in which you find yourself stuck, invoke your guardian angel. The saints can surely help you, but only your angel has the power to enlighten you. His main job, after all, is to assist you in your quest for goodness, truth, and beauty. Because of that, letting him assist you with your issues is the best way for you to receive his miracles. Protection this is the most well-known angelic craft in our faith. We imagine them guarding us against harm almost instinctively throughout our days. They are capable of doing so, and we should enlist their help, especially in dangerous circumstances that cannot be avoided. They can, however, protect us from malevolent spirits attempting to lead us wrong. This is something that everyone has to deal with daily. Spiritual warfare is a silent but costly conflict that our guardian angels can assist us with. He can't fight your conflict for you, but he can stand beside you, using his power to give you the strength and support you need. 
to rule. When we ask our guardian angels to rule over us, we're asking for help with moral decisions and discipline. We had complete authority over all of our desires back there in the garden when mankind was in its natural personhood state. Our lives were in harmony. We knew when and how to say yes and when to say no, and we could tell right from wrong. That was before sin. Another impact of sin, in addition to the darkened mind, was the diminishing of man and woman's volition. It's now common for our whims and desires to control us. We all know how much easier it is to give in to our weaknesses and inclinations than it is to stay firm and do the responsible thing. We occasionally come across morally ambiguous circumstances. They can be really difficult to traverse, and we often don't know what to do in certain situations. Our guardian angels can help us with all these issues. Theirs will differ from ours, much like their intellect does. In contrast to ours, which is free, their will is fixed. This suggests that there was a point of decision when they were made with embedded knowledge. Each angel chooses whether or not to obey God in this split second. It was a firm decision when they made it. It is impossible to change their thoughts. They can't change their minds because they already know and understand everything. Thus, one choice to obey or not to obey became fixed. They will always obey God, and they can help us to stand firm in our moral resolve as well. Guidance Remember, we are only pilgrims on this earth on our way to heaven. If you are facing something unexpected or painful, you will almost certainly seek advice. In that circumstance, it seems reasonable to seek spiritual assistance from your guardian angel. It's quite okay to contact your guardian angels for help with negative thoughts or arguments with a loved one. You might request that they pray with you as well as for you. When they understand more about temporal and spiritual problems than we do, God sends them to us to assist us. Inviting their assistance makes angels joyful and prevents humans from being lost. Your guardian angels, regardless of your religion, are most likely delivering you messages. There are many kinds of guides, but guardian angels are the ones assigned solely to you. They guide you throughout your whole life and are thought to fill your world with helpful signs. It's up to you whether you see these signs as divine guidance or not. How do guardian angels communicate with us? Guardian angels will often enter your life by sending you signs, also called synchronicities. Carl Jung defines synchronicity as a meaningful coincidence. An example would be you realizing you need to improve your romantic relationship after an argument with your partner before bedtime, and out of the blue, the next day you notice a book about communication in romantic relationships sitting on your coworker's desk. They could also communicate with you through numbers or number sequences like triple one, or you might have a lucky number, and when you go for a job interview, your lucky number is in the company's address. Angels may communicate with you through musical messages, such as a song that constantly encourages you when you get in the car after a long day. They may send you a dream with advice on how to deal with a crisis, or a guide may appear to you in a dream. Your guardian angels will also send people to you to help you spur into necessary actions. They will open new opportunities for you to grow. For example, feathers are thought to be one of the angels' favorite signs to leave on Earth. You can choose to believe that the feather you saw on the sidewalk fell from a bird flying by, or you can trust that it's some kind of sign that your angel is watching you and everything will be okay. When you acknowledge the signs from your guardian angels, you encourage them to send more. You open up the lines of communication between you and the divine. Nine ways to start connecting with your angels. Here are a few tips for connecting with your guiding team and identifying their indicators and synchronicities. Number one, be aware of your surroundings. Recognizing the messages your spirit guides are already sending is a big part of gaining more direction from them. Since our lives are much too hectic or our minds are just too occupied, we often miss the signals our guides send to us. If at all possible, free up some time in your calendar or delegate certain chores. You'll discover more signals from your angels if you just slow down and don't rush things. 
Help quieten your mind by finding a meditation practice that works for you, so you can get better at creating more space in between your thoughts. Number two, keep an eye out for messages from your angels every day. The more you look for hints from your angels, the better you'll be able to recognize them. But there's something else extraordinary that happens as you become more aware of your guides and their helpful words. Inform yourself on your morning ride to work or while showering that your spirits are sending you signals every day. If you're attempting to make a significant decision or going through a lot of challenges and obstacles, anticipate more guidance to come your way to assist you in getting through it. Number three, create a notebook for your spirit guides. Get a unique journal and dedicate it to improving your communication with your guides. This is a sacred space where you can compose a letter to your guides and ask for special help. While your guides are familiar with you and your life, it can be beneficial to utilize your free will to seek assistance and advice. You can also keep track of any critical signs they deliver in this journal. At the start of the week, write a message to your guides, thanking them for a phrase or two about something in your existence you believe they've assisted you with recently. Then devote a few phrases asking for their assistance or advice on a specific topic. Keep an eye out for synchronicities from your guides addressing this topic for the rest of the week. Number four, make an effort to know your angels and give them names. You could name one of your guardian angels Emily, which is a name you've always adored. You can be contemplating your guardian angel while reading a book and the names Javier or Gigi come to mind. Giving your advisor a name helps them feel more real, and it may motivate you to communicate with them more often. After spending more time with one of your guides, you may learn more about their personalities. Use your intention or synchronicity to come up with a name for one of your guides, or go imaginative and assign them a name. If a guide is continuously proposing to help you advance in your job, they may be serious and driven. Another guide could be amusing and give you jokes all the time, encouraging you to relax and enjoy the ride. Number five, give your guides something to work with. Surrender an issue to your guides when you're frustrated with a situation, unsure of the appropriate next step, or feel that you may not have enough control, even if it's only to take a vacation from work. This can allow fresh insights to come to you, as well as let your guides have more freedom to do their thing and help. Practice relinquishing a problem to your guides energetically, even if it is just temporarily. Instead of scheming and fretting, try to relax your mind. I'm surrendering this matter to my spirits to see what they'll do, is an example. Number six, find out more information about your spirit guides. Studying spirit guardians will help you communicate with them more effectively. Know more about them, learn about their responsibilities, Know your own guardian angels, discover how you can connect with them, and let them uplift you, empower you, and bring healing into your life. Number seven, improve your intuition. Everyone has intuition, and everyone can improve their intuition with study and practice. The four main intuitive pathways that you can play with and develop are your ability to hear gentle voices or a clear audience, Imagine their guidance, also known as clairvoyance, verbalize them, or claircognizance, and feel them within you, or your clairsentience. Practice applying your instinct to make tiny decisions that don't have a large impact, such as where you go to get lunch with a coworker, or challenging them using mind games, amongst other things. Number eight, develop spiritual practices on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Guardian angels are beings from heaven that will help you achieve spirituality or assist you in discovering it. Regular spiritual practices, such as drawing an oracle card for inspiration every morning, going to a meditative yoga class weekly, or attending a spiritual gathering with other people once a month, will help you develop a stronger bond with your spirit guides. For example, you might believe that the soul lingers on after the body dies, or that spending time in nature makes you feel closer to spirit. Number nine, simply send a mental message to your angels. This may appear to be the quickest and most straightforward method of connecting with your guardian angels, but it actually works. 
You can say a proper prayer or blessing, or start by telling them what you need in a few sentences. And with that in mind, we hope you learn how to speak better and communicate to your angels for help whenever you need it. After taking it all into your heart, you should be ready to get them to be at your beck and call at all times now. And now it's time for our special prayer for you to help you connect with your angels. Dear angels of God, I am praying for you with a heart filled with hope. Please guide me in my time of need. Guide me away from harm and violence at all times. Lift me up from the weight of my burdens. With your help, allow me to be stronger for my family and loved ones. To my guardian angels, I call upon you to observe my every action. I pray you will look after me in times when I may fail. I undoubtedly show you my belief in your presence. I believe in all the miracles and blessings that you bring my way. Please follow me further on the path of enlightenment. Please send me your beautiful signs that I am doing the right thing. Please envelop me with your comfort in times of trouble. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for the love and the confidence in my actions. Thank you for your divine protection, angels. Hear my prayers. Amen. Learn how to be much closer to your angels with this free gift that we promised you earlier. Click on this link here to get access to our Celestial Connections course that will help you to connect with your angels deeply and receive their bountiful blessings in your life.